Lindsay, it's so great being with you, and I just want to say a huge thank you to you and the Samueli Foundation for your generous support of Orange County United Way. You are truly amazing. We are especially thrilled with your recent $3 million commitment that's helped us acquire 211 OC and to really build its capacity over in the next few years. We can't thank you enough. So I just love to hear from you. Why was this so important for you to say yes to? Well, it's so fun to be with you. And I will admit the first time we started to talk about 211, I was not familiar with it. And you opened my eyes first to this incredible opportunity to better help everyone in Orange County and simultaneously lift the whole nonprofit sector through one investment. And you also helped me understand that a better 211 leads to meeting people's needs more efficiently and better data about what the needs are, which can drive better policy, better resource allocation, and really start to help create what our North Star is, and that's well-being for all in Orange County. So um, as much as you're thanking me, we want to thank you for taking this on because it's a huge commitment that I think can can really deliver extraordinary benefit to the whole community. Yeah, thank you for saying that and thank you for your passion. We absolutely share that belief that um, we need some time, but what we can do in terms of be able to tell the Orange County story better and help make sure resources are going where they need to go and improve Orange County, lift it for all, is certainly within our capabilities. So we're excited about that, so thank you. And as you, I know you know, that over 400, or excuse me, 500,000 contacts are made to Orange County United Way 211 OC every year. And over 50% of those folks are looking for housing assistance. Any thoughts on that and the need for more housing solutions in Orange County? Yeah, I mean, you know, first, right, let's, it's like, the need is sobering. We have to start there. That volume of call and what that means about where we are in this moment is something we all have to um, think about. We cannot lose sight of this. Even a place where it feels like there's tremendous affluence, we also have pretty profound income inequality. We have people who are struggling, and so just hearing those numbers, right, for me is 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 a sobering thing. It also speaks to an incredible opportunity. Uh, maybe because I'm pathologically positive, right, and, and that is part of, of being in philanthropy is we have to be believers. We believe that change is possible. Um, I think that our um, homelessness issues, as you've been helping me understand them, right? We have a crisis of affordability. We have real opportunities around prevention. There's actually low cost mechanisms to keep people housed so they never fall into a category of homelessness. We have to start sort of separating out this big scary word homelessness and breaking it into bite-sized chunks where we can develop coalitions of the willing and real action together. I think Orange County is this beautiful sort of unicorn of big enough to matter, small enough to win. And yes, that's a staggering amount, but it still actually feels like we can make a profound difference in this, in this issue which will change Orange County in, in, in amazing ways. And so I'm sobered, I'm deeply sad, and I remain optimistic to know that with better data and you all driving us toward these solutions and coalitions that are excited about different pieces of the puzzle, we can start to make a difference in this. Oh, again, Lindsay, thank you. I share that passion again. I share that enthusiasm that we can do this together. And it's because of partners like you. So thank you so much. You exemplify what we call the OC way, which is all about kindness. So thank you, Lindsay. Thank you.